everyone. Welcome at the opening lecture of BAU 2022. I am Afke. I am the chairwoman of the BAU committee this year. And uh, the opening lecture will be given by Arun from the Zwarte Hond. And I hope you all enjoy listening. Okay. Uh, well, we all have to get used to uh, live meetings again, I think. Um, and to... Um, to explain something to the people at home, life is when we are all together and the quality of what you see and what you hear is better than when you see it on screen. So uh, uh, I'm sorry for the technical, let's say, quality loss of the of the pictures but, uh, and the images, but you will, yeah, well, next, <laughs> next time be live over here. Um, I will explain something about uh, and tell something about the Zwarte Hond. Uh, I will uh, try to explain the Hey, <laughs> some friends, sorry. <laughs> so now I'm, now, I'm, now I'm getting nervous. Um, I will uh, uh, explain something about the uh, uh, Hond, uh, the, and more or less the, the strategy and the ID and the concept of the office. And I will do that uh, also by showing a lot of uh, uh, projects. Um, but more or less the... the, 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 the the main issue I will talk about is the is how to uh, organize and man maintain and uh, manage uh, a kind of a coherence in your portfolio in a big office. Uh, so for, it's it's called Forever Young. This lecture it's not a it's not about me because I'm not forever young. Uh, and to be honest, and maybe it's uh, uh, you don't want to, to hear it, but you won't be uh, forever young as well. Uh, uh, nobody will be forever young, but uh, an office can be forever young, and an office can adapt and, uh, uh, and always change in, and think about the urgencies and the actual issues we have to think about and we have to make uh, 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 solutions for. So that's what I'm going to try to explain. And my role in the office is not, uh, I'm the creative director of the Zwarte Hond, and it's not that I'm the, that I'm, that I, I have to autograph all the, uh, all the designs made in the office. Uh, it's more or less, I see myself as the bass player of, of the office. Um, this is uh, James Jamerson. Uh, he, um, the bass player of a Motown Records um, uh, played on more uh, number one hits in the States than uh, the Stones, uh, the Beatles, and the Beach Boys all together. Um, and he is known for uh, just uh, grooving a lot uh, and always uh, uh, lay down the, the keynote of the of the song. And that's more or less what I try to do: is that I I try to let's say. Um, Make the conditions in the in the in the office uh, in that way that uh, that uh, everybody can groove and 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 um, and play uh, beautiful uh, uh, solos. Uh, this what uh, uh, exists on in uh, of three offices. We have a uh, uh, we started in uh, 1985, just uh, three years after uh, uh, Michael Jackson uh, delivered the Thriller. Uh, in uh, Groningen, uh, in '93, uh, uh, Nirvana, I think, uh, never mind, uh, was the most uh, important uh, uh, record at that time. Uh, we uh, opened an office in Rotterdam, and in uh, in, in uh, 2010, and uh, I don't know any anything about music in 2010. We opened an office in uh, in uh, Cologne, and we. We often will have to work very close by uh, your uh, projects uh, to know everything about the context, uh, not only the physical context, but also the social and economical context, where, where you, uh, uh, which provide the conditions where you have to work in. And um, uh, so we more or less also work uh, 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 close by this, this uh, triangle uh, you see on the screen. Um, it was founded 
our office was founded by uh, Jürgen van der Meer, together with Ton Karelsen, which is not on the slide anymore. Uh, and we're known for, uh, we, ha we have quite a big office. Uh, uh, there are working for, uh, uh, we have a staff of 130 people uh, with uh, nine partners right now and, um, and two associates. And we have a lot of partners, uh, uh, and we, but that's because we really think that uh, these science improve if you uh, talk a lot about it and you really discuss it a lot uh, together. Uh, you dis discuss it a lot with people w with all different backgrounds, uh, different, uh, sk uh, 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 different skills, and uh, schooled in different uh, uh, scholars in uh, different uh, disciplines. Uh, and that's one thing. And the other thing is that we really like to, to play outside. Besides, we are uh, an architect or an urbanist. We really like to play outside uh, and do different jobs at the same time. So uh, I was, for instance, uh, the city architect of the city of Groningen uh, for six years. Uh, Daan Zandbelt was, um, uh, uh, was the, the, uh, uh, one of the advisors for the, uh, for the government. Uh, for uh, four years, uh, Matthias was a professor in Huppertal. Uh, Jurin was uh, chairman of the Welstand in Groningen for uh, seven years. Uh, so we, we all try to to uh, to not to work only for the Zwarte Hond, but do also uh, uh, do some other things and to gain uh, knowledge and to also to 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 gain different uh, uh, perspectives. Uh, uh, and and uh, and use these uh, different perspectives in in our work, and therefore we are really known now for uh, let's say uh, bringing private uh, goals and public goals more or less uh, uh, together. This, so so what we really like is to work for uh, uh, whatever client, uh, uh, whatever client, but to to work especially uh, uh, especial for uh, let's say some private goals, and also. Uh, make work which uh, makes life better for all our stakeholders. We have two young associates uh, just uh, installed in uh, July. Uh, Lisa, she's an architect and urbanist, uh, just graduated, uh, I think in uh, in December even. At, uh, uh, so, uh, and uh, Bart van Leeuwen, he's an urban uh, designer working in uh, in Groningen. So we also don't split work in we, that we have project in Groningen or a project in Cologne or project in Rotterdam. We more or less work as a team and a, a kind of a collective we work uh, together. Uh, 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 I used it to describe it more as, a, let's say, a kind of a... Uh, well, we're, we're really a, a kind of a group working on, on, a, on a projects. This is a... I will explain this, but uh, if you have a, a large office and if you have, uh, uh, let's say, 10, ten partners uh, from, for, from which uh, more or less eight are uh, designers, it's all, you always have to, to think and to rethink your own principles and the way you design and, and also the, the goals you set for your office uh, as well. So what we did is we we discussed we worked on on uh, just on this slide I think for four or five years, and uh, uh, we, we we worked uh, on it uh, discussing uh, what are our key values in designing uh, buildings and uh, and uh, cities, and how uh, are we going to work on it, uh, and wh who or what are our main uh, uh, let's say examples. Um, and therefore, we try to define our work uh, in two ways. So, on one, in one way, it's our work has to be self-evident, uh, has to be a solution for uh, for urgent um, uh, tasks, for urgent uh, issues, for really, uh, let's say, uh, social and economical uh, uh, problems. Uh, and on the other side, we want to make what, what we think is. Uh, fascinating. Uh, uh, we want to make projects which are beautiful, uh, which are uh, sustainable, uh, robust, uh, and we, we we try to 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 know 
uh, and to to see in history, uh, to look in history, if we if we can find a project which could be uh, uh, an examples uh, for for our work. And the other really important thing is that we uh, we want to to know everything about scales and how to work in different scales, how to work in big projects and small projects, how to detail, how to see context, uh, how to make projects for the world, for the for the country, for the street, for the city, and uh, even for 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 a building. So, so we work on on uh, uh, on what, what, let's say. Three skills we work. We do architecture projects, uh, just uh, making buildings uh, like schools uh, or uh, dwellings, offices. But we do also a lot of urbanism, where we do uh, uh, area developments, uh, like uh, 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 developments for between uh, the uh, 700 and 7,000 uh, uh, dwellings, or, uh, or 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 even half a half. Uh, 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 huge parts of the cities, and we 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 like to do strategies, strategies uh, for uh, we 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 like to develop strategies uh, for uh, let's say developers, but also for governments, um, uh, at, at, and strategies to to de to develop areas or strategies to develop cities or uh, or, or whatever. Or the other way around. So we, we also sometimes we start just with a with, with a building and we end up in the, with a strategy, and sometimes it's also the other way around. We first develop a strategy and we end up with architecture, or we start in the middle and we we try to to let's say that the influence of our project uh, 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 goes in both ways. So that means we always think about uh, uh, context. We also think about what what does a building do for the street? What do what what role plays the street in the city? And what uh, uh, what is the city uh, in the world? And, and we investigate all this, all the uh, all these uh, scales uh, uh, both ways. So, for instance. Um, Dan Zandbelt, he once uh, think, uh, think uh, or thought of uh, how to, what's the kind of a strategy or the structure for the for the for the uh, for the railway companies in Holland, and you see this. Uh, okay, I, I have to point it. Is the, this is not. Um, So you, 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 nobody sees a red dot. Does it, does anyone? No. Yeah. Okay. You see it over here. So Asse, the city of Asse, is uh, over here, and you see the importance of this railway line, the connection between Groningen and Zwolle. It was made very important, and especially because uh, at that time uh, uh, the, the 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 new railway line. From uh, let's say Amsterdam between uh, Groningen was uh, cancelled. Uh, they're talking about it right now again. So we thought about Asse, and we thought uh, so Asse became more important because of this th th this uh, this position in, on the railway line, and we had to make a strategy for the city about what to do with this with with this new connection or this this important connection in, in this in this role and how to develop the city and how to develop uh, uh, and also got a lot of funds from the from the national government to improve their uh, infrastructure and we said don't only improve your infrastructure but also improve your city and we came up with a was in the end was a, a very important uh, uh, project uh, making a new uh, station in this in this whole uh, infrastructure uh, 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 bundle, um, uh, and a station which also connects east and and west uh, of Assen uh, in a better way, which made made us uh, uh, like a, like a really a nice uh, stop where you could. Uh, 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 get out of the train and 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 uh, and uh, and go to the museums of Asse and or or the surrounding landscape. And we defined a kind of a, a plan, uh, an urban plan for uh, the the context of uh, of this of the station, 
uh, how to deal with all these infrastructure uh, uh, knots uh, uh, and how to deal with the bus, with the with the taxis, with uh, with bikes and and the train uh, and itself. And uh, in the end, we uh, uh, we were also asked to to enter uh, uh, to make an entry for the competition for the for the station. Uh, I, and I asked the uh, powerhouse to help us and to come to come up with a with a uh, with a design for for a new station, which is which you could see is a, they, they were building and it is already built right now. We thought about the structure, uh, the construction uh, of this uh, uh, of this station, and also about the uh, about the details. So, so uh, for us, it's really important that we that we know uh, what to do on every scale. So we know what to do on the scale of the country, and we know what to do on the scale of the detail. And we really think that. Uh, it, you you can't compare these scales with each other. Uh, uh, it's not that. Uh, 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 a building cannot be in a city, and, uh, and uh, uh, a city cannot be a, a, a building. So you always have to d to come up with the the good solutions for that uh, for that uh, scale. Where improving is always uh, uh, that's the first thing uh, uh, we think about. Improving is better than new. So first, start to deal with everything you have. Uh, uh, think about a strategy to improve, and then afterwards you can think about uh, 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 new. Also, because new cities uh, uh, don't exist more or less, or uh, it, uh, exist after hundreds and hundreds of years. And this is what I, what I, uh, I told you before. So really think of a building as a building. A building can be a city, uh, and everybody who tries uh, uh, to to uh, that uh, to make a building which acts like a city fails more or less. This is the the biggest failure uh, uh, you you will ever see. It's a kind of a, a building uh, uh, thought of as a city, but it doesn't uh, define the public space. It doesn't connect with the public space, and it's a it's a, a very uh, exclusive uh, 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 building. The most important strategy to stay young, or uh, stay forever young, is always think about the urgency of your, uh, uh, your designs. For instance, uh, climate change, uh, but also all kinds of uh, social and economical uh, uh, issues. Uh, the, 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 the inclusion and, and exclusion uh, in, in, uh, in uh, cities. So uh, this is... I think they're drinking gin tonics in, uh, on a boat in Amsterdam, all white. Um, think about uh, uh, the housing crisis, how to act in the housing crisis, and uh, uh, how, to, uh, how to make investments so that they don't push out uh, 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 people out of uh, cities. Floods. And this, so this is the most important slide, more or less, how to how to come to Paris with 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 uh, uh, cool and dry. We all have to get to Paris uh, cool and dry, like the Tour de France. And how do we do that? By integrating. We integrate solutions. We in integrate uh, skills, and we integrate uh, disciplines. More or less like the the, the move uh, Mondrian made when he when he moved to uh, uh, New York. So he in in, Ho in the Holland of the 30s, he made he made th these kind kind of dull uh, 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 paintings. And as soon as he moved uh, to New York, he saw he saw what a lively city could be. Uh, uh, and he made the Victory Boogie Boogie. So what we did in uh, in the office, we made a kind of a a serious game where we um, just a kind of a catalog of, of, of solutions and you can play it all together and, and think uh, about uh, let's say uh, new sets of, uh, of uh, solutions and integrate them in your in your uh, city the, the, the one of the most integrated and the the, 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 the no one of the nicest solutions uh, we ever made came up with in Holland because uh, we really like in Holland that we uh, make money out of our burdens, is the single, uh, for instance, the single is 
uh, is, is a kind of infrastructure uh, which is ecological, very valuable. Uh, uh, you can recreate in, uh, in signals, but it's also you can also move along signals. It provides very good addresses for uh, for uh, for housing. Uh, it uh, it gives you uh, nature. It gives you coolness in the in the in the summer. You can you can skate on a si uh, on a signal in in winter. So it's more or less almost everything. And still, it's only one type. It's not uh, it's not uh, uh, um, it's not zoned, it's only one thing. So we have to work on, uh, on uh, richness and uh, coherence and, uh, and uh, clear. And rich, uh, it, of course, this was a kind of a translation out of Dutch, so rich you can read as rich uh, in, uh, economically, but also rich in diversity. Coherent, uh, 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 that we do things together, but it also that it Everything belongs uh, together and clear. Uh, that's the most uh, uh, difficult. Uh, uh, it's the, the translation of, of schoon. Uh, it's not only clear in the sense of that it's that it's uh, that, you, that you can see through it, but also that it's it's healthy uh, uh, and uh, it's beautiful. And to work on these three uh, 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 words. Or the, these three uh, uh, issues, we uh, we made this uh, uh, what we call the uh, Leporello. How much time do I have, uh, uh, Max? Still, half an hour. Okay, very good. Um, so for each of these uh, words, we made a kind of uh, principles, and. Uh, I will show you these principles and also the the way uh, we work on it on on it. So first, uh, uh, rich. One of the first principles we did is blend in and stand out, so that we uh, our interventions or our designs always uh, fit in in the in the context, always are really very well in place. And at the same time, they make a positive new contribution to it. So so so. Uh, on one hand, it's it's it, it really almost dissolves into the context. But on the other hand, it it adds something which wasn't there before we, uh, uh, our intervention was there. One of the best examples ever, uh, and anyone from Groningen uh, should know it, is the uh, is the library uh, designed by Grassi, where he more or less fit in in a, in a, in the in a kind of a historical uh, in a historical city uh, a, a huge building uh, a library uh, which is uh, on one side fits but also contributes in how you uh, experience the street uh, and how you experience uh, the city we did uh, for instance a, a, a quite a big plan in uh, in Tilburg Groeseind uh, where we Add a whole new uh, fabric into uh, into uh, 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 an existing surrounding, uh, and the fabric, although it's uh, completely new, and there's a completely new uh, 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 plan. It's a completely new plan. Uh, acts like it's it, it it's it always has been there. Uh, the only thing why why you. Uh, uh, see that that there's something new is that we, we that we use this this orange uh, maybe it was a, a little uh, 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 gesture to uh, Grassi this orange uh, uh, brick together with nine we did this with nine different architects and and the only and the only rule was uh, you have to use this orange brick so here you can see it. So this uh, this was the plan. Uh, we made a, a very long park in the middle of it, uh, also to to give something back to the neighborhood, to the surrounding neighborhood, and uh, and uh, think also of the single to make a kind of a beautiful new addresses and 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 also uh, 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 solve a, a, a lot of uh, issues like uh, climate adaptation, uh, but also. Uh, uh, a place where children can play uh, uh, some ecological uh, uh, 
uh, issues, uh, uh, whatever. This is the park, you all can already see it. And some small uh, pocket parks uh, 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 along this uh, huge... Uh, she didn't listen though, this ar architect didn't listen and she, uh, she came up with another brick. Uh, and here you can see the combination of old and, and, and new and how very well it fits in the, in the, in the, in the context. The next uh, 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 principle is program uh, follows uh, site or program follows uh, location. So it re 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 we really think that the site conditions def define more or less the possibilities of the program. And not only quantitative, so it's not only about size, but it's also uh, 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 um, uh, quantitative, so uh, uh, qualitative. So, so, uh, so what kind of program? Uh, how how does it work? How how does it uh, 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 interact with the with the the fabric of the city? How does it uh, improve the, the the functionality of the city? How it how how does it work together with the surroundings? So, for instance, in, in, uh, this is a, a, a plan in Groningen. Over here, you see the old uh, warehouse of the VND, uh, which was uh, uh, more or less, uh, w w w which was bankrupt, I think, in uh, in the, the uh, 2012, something like that, and. Uh, uh, we made a kind of a strategy where we, we so here is the uh, the library of, of, of Grassi. Oh, here, you see this. Oh, here, sorry. This is the library of Grassi. And you see that the, uh, here is the a kind of the uh, uh, a university part of the city, of the inner city. And you see that there, there is a connection, a route from here to, to here. And they're all quite big buildings especially big buildings for the inner city of Groningen and the VND was one of them this is a huge uh, uh, building for the bank this is a building for uh, of the municipality uh, here you have the library this is the university library and here's also uh, this these parts are also from the university this is the 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 building for the the academy of the of the university so so and th it was not a coincidence that all these big buildings were over there. This is a, 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 a an image for just after the war, and you see that the the Canadians came from the south, and that and the Germans were were in the north, and of course the Canadians won, but they they really uh, 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 destroyed all the the the, the city fabric in the, in, the, in the north of the of the of the Grote Markt. And and after that, after everything was uh, uh, destroyed, they they tried more or less to fill it in with the with this, the same kind of grain which was already there. But of course, uh, some bigger buildings were built over there. So you can see here here is the VND, the warehouse, or the, the and, uh, uh, and the, the, there's the bank building over here. So, so here it here it is, and 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 of course nowadays, housing and living housing always wins uh, in a city. So whenever you suggest housing, every developer thinks, well, uh, I'm going to do that. But uh, especially in a in an inner city in in an inner city, you also have to provide some spaces for 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 other functionalities like a working. Uh, 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 like uh, 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 all kinds of of uh, so social functions, functions and economical functions, so we we we, we uh, so we explained to them that when you when you on one side you have the university and on the other side you have a, uh, all, also all kinds of of let's say offices that you can also make a kind of a what we call a, 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 a knowledge a knowledge road, a road for knowledge, a note a, a road where you can uh, where you can uh, develop a, a more a kind of offices for startups and scale-ups, uh, and where all the spin-outs out of the university 
can uh, can come together uh, and, and and really act with on one side the bank and on the other side with the university. So we we tried, uh, and of course we ha also have to had to pay for it. So we 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 uh, developed uh, a s some housing on top of a, a beautiful uh, a plinth with a, with a lot of uh, nice functions. But for, for instance, in this building, which was also a part of the, the whole V&D complex, we made a kind of, uh, we made a, uh, a space for small uh, businesses. Uh, uh, this warehouse, this is the, the housing thing. And in the, in the old uh, uh, V&D, we now uh, are developing uh, huge uh, uh, floors for offices, for smaller offices and, and bigger offices, and we, we try to make a new hotspot for economy in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Groningen. So, so we really try to, to, let's say, to play with all the, the conditions we, we found uh, 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 there in, this, in, the, in, the, in the city. We also try to make generous spaces, uh, spaces we create uh, where people can uh, 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 used by people uh, in all different kinds of, uh, of uh, possibilities. So for Rotterdam uh, South, uh, 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 a city which is almost a city of its own, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, as big as uh, Groningen, we uh, developed or uh, uh, designed a theater and the library, and you can see it over here. And uh, of course, a theater is a kind of a dual uh, program. I, I know, don't know if you ever designed a, a theater already, but it's kind of dull because it's very closed. It's like a big box and everything happens in there, you know. But we, we really try to make a kind of a nice uh, uh, interaction with the public space uh, by making this space in front of it, and also uh, we came up with, with uh, the idea to make a new square as, uh, over there, and, uh, and really make some space where, it, well, we, 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 yeah, it's just more or less space. We also don't know exactly know how to use it and what to do in it, but it can be used for all kinds of uh, things. Uh, this, oh, it works. So you see, uh, uh, and there's a whole kind of strategy how to develop it uh, and how to come up with some idea that we we, we improve the whole uh, surroundings and also relocate the bus and 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 think about a new streets and new uh, 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 city fabric well here you see the the kind of dull uh, box which which is the theater but uh, when you come close by you see that there are all kinds of we all, we, we made all kinds of details uh, you can use, it can be used by the public, uh, it, it really opens and it's inviting and, and uh, hospitable. And, and, and in front of this theater, so you see the, this is the, 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 big, the, the big stage and the, the smaller stage. There is this space where, well, it's, all, uh, well, uh, it's filled in with all different kinds of of uh, furniture, but it's uh, but nobody knows exactly what to do with it. Uh, it's just uh, a, a huge space, which, a, which which more or less acts like an extension of the public space in front of the on, uh, of the theater. For the for the main uh, for the main stage, we worked together with a very young uh, a, a kind of young architect, uh, uh, Rap, uh, uh, which. Which came up with a beautiful idea of, of all this faceted and, and uh, triangular uh, uh, acoustic wall in the back. For our coherent, we also have a kind of uh, uh, principles. So first, uh, f about fixing the, the missing link. We really uh, believe in maintaining and also uh, helping or uh, uh, the continuity of the urban fabric. So we, we always strive to remove uh, barriers, to make new connections, uh, and, and, and also improve uh, uh, more or less disused and unpleasant uh, places. So this is the, the, the railway station of uh, Hilversum, 
Well, and you can already see uh, some architect came up with this idea, uh, and it didn't improve the connection very well with the inner city of Hilversum, which is more or less over there. There's a kind of a well, strange, uh, 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 well, what, how, do, how do you call this, leftover space over here with a huge infrastructure barrier uh, over here uh, uh, where uh, lots of cars drive. They try to to uh, develop some something over here, but it also won't help anything. You can see that the housing, once developed over here, doesn't even have an address uh, 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 which attached the attaches the the, the 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 building to the to the main access uh, to the city. So uh, um, everything went wrong. So we uh, and what di what what did Hilson want to do before before they asked us to help them? Oh, wait a minute. Uh, is they they want to make a tunnel? Wanted to make a tunnel over here. Uh, and we told them, oh, well, please don't, because a tunnel uh, won't help you. You can only get over a tunnel on one spot, but it won't help to heal and to, to complete the, the urban fabric. So, we're, so we, we add some, some trains uh, uh, formed uh, blocks. We did this together with Okra, uh, the landscape office, and, uh, and to, to more or less heal and, and uh, complete the urban fabric. And uh, so that they're now, nowadays, or not nowadays, because they still have to build it, but uh, soon there will be better connections and a, a, and a better transition between the, 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 the station area and, uh, and the inner city of Hilversum, and especially for pedestrians and, uh, and cyclists, you can easily uh, go there, even when, even when it's raining. Therefore, to complete this urban fabric, we really have to think about the form and the, the way the public space is, is, is made, or the public uh, space is formed, more or less. And uh, um, so we're not uh, uh, interested, more or less, in the form of the building, uh, but more of the negative space, the, the space uh, which, is, which is left unbuilt, more or less, the public space, and the public space uh, how does the public space define a building and, and vice versa? And uh, how does uh, streets and squares define our buildings and vice versa? So that's, that was the solution for Zwolle. That was this huge uh, uh, shopping uh, mall. Well, it w uh, and you can see that, uh, that, the shop that the shopping mall didn't uh, do anything good for the public space around. Uh, more or less, uh, there is a, a huge parking space over here with some, I don't e even know what, it, what, what, what this is, uh, some, some, some temporary shops or something. There's some parking space over here. This, uh, there's a, a, a road over here, but uh, nobody wants to be there. There's also no interaction between the building and the public space over here, although it's a, a, it's a single, the, the best uh, type for public space uh, ever. Uh, ever invented. And there is a, a huge uh, uh, a water uh, and a pond over here, but also there, uh, there's no relation between, let's say, the main shopping street over here, which is over here, and this, uh, this, uh, this pond. They wanted to extend this uh, shopping mall, and we came up with an idea that, uh, that, uh, that, that really connected also the, the, the existing uh, parts, so we, don't, we didn't uh, want to to the uh, to destroy the existing part, but uh, improve uh, the functionality of it, and, and improve also the connection of this the the, the existing part of the shopping mall uh, with the city uh, by making a, a, a beautiful public space in more or less in between. So this is what we suggested. So this is the route. Uh, so this is the main main uh, uh, sh uh, shopping street right now, and we said, well, uh, this is uh, uh, this is not very good uh, idea because uh, because it goes from nowhere to nowhere, and this was the connection to the to the uh, to the uh, station to the railway station. So we said we we have to change that, and we have to make this into a, a kind of a street uh, square. Uh, 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 a new public uh, public space, and we also 
so we, we, we suggested a triangular uh, building, more or less, and made all new connections to the, to the public space uh, around. Uh, and, and really really thought of how to think about all, all the, the street profiles, uh, the, the, uh, you can see the single over here, and how to make connections, how to, uh, the addresses, uh, where do I live, uh, uh, how uh, do I bring my, my uh, child to the kindergarten, uh, uh, how do I do my uh, uh, shopping over there. Think about uh, the detailing of the facade, uh, uh, what's open, what's public, where, uh, what is private. And also think about what do we inside, uh, what's inside of the block. How can we make a kind of a collective spa space inside the, the, uh, the block over there. Here you can see the, the, the other way. Uh, so on, on both sides of the streets there are some, some uh, nice... Uh, uh, pavilions made, uh, so it's really a kind of a in, uh, 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 enclosed uh, 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 public uh, space, but f with very good connections to the to the to the station. And therefore, you always have to think about street level. So I know it's a kind of a. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of a fashion to think about public space over buildings, under buildings, uh, uh, inside buildings or whatever, but uh, it's uh, a public, public space really uh, acts the best when it's just on street level and it's really public. And by definition, public space is inclusive, so it, it always, more or less, always has to be located on street level. So really think about uh, uh, how uh, your building or your design acts uh, on, a, on, a, on a street level. This is a, a, a building we made for uh, in Amsterdam in Sloterdijk. You can live there very well if you're quite rich, though, but uh, everybody in Amsterdam is, I think. But uh, 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 on, on the street level, it really interacts very good with the, with the surroundings. And although it's, uh, it's, uh, it has a nice uh, buffer between public space and the, and the, the, the program, uh, and, inside, and inside it, it it's really also uh, acts like a kind of a collective uh, 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 green. So you can, you can see that uh, although it's a, in a really high uh, density, uh, a, a green uh, plays a big role in the in the design and the way you uh, can uh, can live there and the way you uh, you uh, 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 your view is organized and you can also so, so so this is more or less the the idea so on on the street level it really defines as I stated before the public space because it just plays a normal more or less normal role in the way. Uh, a, a, a city block is uh, defined, but uh, on a higher level, uh, we made a kind of a weird shapes on uh, uh, to it, so that so that you can uh, live there quite well. But so so uh, uh, so it does everything in the in the both ways. So this is in the interior of the block. The last thing is about clearness, uh, uh, and um, and it's also about. Uh, sustainability about uh, robustness of uh, of your city uh, uh, fabric. So the first thing we we say is framework is forever. That's a, especially as an urbanist, I always say that every every building is temporary, uh, uh, although people hope that it's differently. Uh, but uh, 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 framework is forever. Everything else is uh, so so. Really think good and very well about your the structure you're in implementing in in a in a city i always start with a kind of a, a quote of uh, the the great uh, uh, chicago uh, um, urbanist uh, uh, daniel burnham uh, uh, he he made a plan for chicago in um, in 1912 and uh, you can see that 
that he really thinks about uh, uh, the structure, uh, the, stru the structure, uh, and and that the structure can improve uh, itself through the ages. So uh, we made a structure for the for the for the Hague, a structure uh, where we uh, try to double the 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 inner city of the Hague, uh, try to uh, uh, come up with space for 25,000 houses and 25,000 uh, jobs uh, in this uh, triangle of uh, the Holland Spoor, uh, the uh, Den Haag Central and uh, the railway station uh, NOE. And we made a kind of a structure based on, uh, on the Victory Boogie Boogie, uh, the, the uh, the uh, picture I framed, uh, I uh, I talked about before, uh, where we where we came up with an idea about what we call Röhring, Rust and Ruis, which is translated as some, a, a, a light, uh, let's say a liveliness, uh, rest or a quietness and uh, and uh, noise, uh, and uh, this framework. Uh, defines also the kind of functionalities which can have an address next to this this framework, uh, and 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 really really uh, invest a lot in improving this framework uh, again. So we all also th think about uh, materialization like that we. Uh, that things have to get old. Uh, when things have to get old, they they only have to uh, gain uh, beauty. Uh, for instance, this is one of our smallest projects, uh, uh, a holiday home in Anschimmelkoog, uh, where we used uh, beautiful wood, uh, which uh, comes more and more uh, lively uh, through the years and is is becoming more beautiful and beautiful, uh, as you can see over here, and more or less. It dissolves the whole uh, hol uh, holiday home is more or less de dissolves into the into the context into the landscape of uh, of uh, Schiermonnikoog. And the last thing, well, but that I'm 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 an urbanist and not a not an architect. One of the last is that we really want to be uh, everything as well crafted. So it has to be uh, built in a very rational and a very uh, uh, good way. So this is a, a, a design we did together with uh, Job Floors of Monet Nock uh, for a, a pavilion in the in the Veluwe, where you can see that uh, almost everything is uh, made beautifully, and, the, uh, and all the material comes beautiful uh, together. And we like about thinking about sustainable that it's 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 the the use of the material and the resources. So we we really we really think that in the end sustainable has nothing to do with uh, uh, with techniques more or less or or uh, but, but 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 more or less uh, think about a strategy between permanent and temporary uh, elements. So. Uh, uh, this uh, building is a, uh, we, uh, we are refurbishing this building in uh, Leiden. Uh, it's a, a building for the university, built by uh, Van Sticht. Uh, uh, I think he he he, uh, he was a professor in this uh, school when I was a student uh, over here. Uh, it's kind of a strange uh, uh, 70s uh, uh, building. Uh, uh, some uh, people really think it's ugly, and maybe it is, but uh, you really can use it in a different way and just add something to it and 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 make it work a in a whole new way, like you can see over here. Over here, so therefore we we just uh, uh, it it exists of uh, I think seven pavilions: one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven, and we only took out the middle one and made a whole new roof. You can see the roof over here. Oh. And and it uh, and uh, therefore there there is becoming a, a new kind of atrium in uh, uh, in the middle of these uh, these uh, pavilions which uh, which give a whole new use to this uh, 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 beautiful building. 
So I hope uh, I more or less explained how we work uh, uh, and how we uh, try to make a, a kind of a uh, coherent portfolio, but, but also projects with some impact in in how people use the city uh, and how the city can be used um, with a kind of um, well, well, let's say rules or principles uh, and the way we uh, design uh, in our in our, our office. So really, don't think about uh, new. It's not about new. It's only about uh, better. And uh, think about uh, re rethink, refuse. We organize, recycle, restructure, reform, reconnect, reveal, reuse, rediscover, and uh, redesign. Well, thank you. So thank you very much, Jeroen, for the lecture. It was very interesting and inspiring. Uh, before we move on to the questions, I have a few announcements to make. Because this afternoon, we will have the CV check in the Baupub. So if you, if you have signed up for that, then you have received an email and uh, with a assigned time. Um, next week, we have the portfolio check. So if you have a portfolio, you can have it checked by Paul de Ruyter. Yes, uh, I was wondering where the name the Zwarte Hond originates from. <laughs> it's an interesting name. Well, uh, when, we're, when we were founded, uh, the, the, the name of the office was uh, 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 Karelsen van der Meer, architect. I already forgot, more or less. And uh, we changed the name into the Zwarte Hond in uh, 2001. But the Zwarte Hond was alway, alway, always already a kind of a nickname uh, of the office. Uh, and it was because the first assignment uh, 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 Karels and, and Van der Meer uh, got was uh, an, uh, a commission by uh, an uh, artist. And uh, he couldn't pay any money for the design. So he had to pay with an artwork, and it was an artwork of a, a, a huge statue of a, of a Zwarte Hond made by uh, a paper. <laughs> and that's it, so it was more or less, it's, it stands for the, the, the first money we made, which wasn't money. And it's, that it's not about the money, but it's about uh, what you can do for people. Yeah, very cool, thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, any other questions? That way? Yeah. Yes. ...of the government. And yeah, that's what, what, and you had like, Aston. yeah, oh, Aston, yeah. yeah. Um, for me, it was very clear that you had your own vision about uh, the surroundings as well. So, in which part uh, you really needed the landscape architect to put their vision uh, with yours? Um, yeah, I, to be honest, I don't believe in uh, uh, that. I always have a, a very good vision on my own. So it really helps me sometimes to interact or to, 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 to discuss uh, designs with, with, with other disciplines like, uh, like landscape architects or architects or whoever. So, uh, so, so in, in, uh, in, in Asse we worked with uh, Felix, uh, I think, and uh, quite soon we, we tried to, uh, we, just, we, we just add him to the team. 
al almost in the beginning of the assignment already. And in, in, uh, in uh, Hilversum we did uh, as well. So, so, no, so that's also, the, I think, uh, uh, the, the best works we did, or the best project we did, was, was really in a collaboration with, with other people. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, it's nice to collaborate. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Any more questions? Well, I think you were very clear then. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I just wanted to say to everyone here that uh, all the activities of Bau are also posted on our Instagram, career, uh, Stiedel's career. So please go follow that if you want to stay up to date. Oh, you have a question? No, you were just waiting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So thank you very much, everyone, and uh, have a nice afternoon. And maybe see you at the CV check. <laughs>